Hey folks, welcome into the Tits Beard Long 420 Beverage Review. Finally, finally, we're gonna be trying Milk to Go's iced coffee. Now, Milk to Go iced coffee might be limited to how you can find it because it's supposed to be limited kind of out to me. Because here's the thing. Oh, excuse me. One day I found a uh, out through online. Milk to Go has an iced coffee product. So I'm looking at the different stores that have the milk to go products here. Off and on. Can't find them. I've been looking what was it weeks? Could it have been months? I've just been looking off and on for a while. Couldn't find them. Then I asked some people, hey, you know milk to go? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, have you by any chance of like seeing their iced coffees around? People weren't too sure and stuff. Or it was a no. So eventually I wrote to the company online and asked them. They asked me for some information to get an idea of where I'm like living and stuff. Answered it. They listed what I guess was the closest place to have it. It was a Walmart, but I would have had to travel for an hour or a little bit over an hour to maybe find a small amount of them, according to the company. Then they asked for my information to send me some. Then next time they wrote back, they wrote back saying that they weren't going to send me some. They already had my information. So here comes this big list of all these different places I can go and supposedly find a small selection of it. But they're areas that are like hours away from here. So I can't go and do that. And then they write back again. Uh, tell me when I should expect the items and then I will be getting them. So I don't know if someone told the person who wrote to me, no, don't give them out or whatever. But I ended up getting them. Now they're the iced coffees. Well, I guess there's only one or at least they only gave me one. But they gave me four bottles of it. So this is, let's get the English side going, original. Now, I'm used to this size with milk to go for their uh, protein drinks. They're uh, like their uh, milk protein drinks, the regular like flavored milks. They're a bigger size. And I think they were saying that this was not the size I would have found in the stores. So for the odd store hours away that has some, I guess they're in a bigger size. But what you get is 180 calories, um, 32 grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, 15% vitamin A, 40% calcium, 2% iron, 60% vitamin D. Your ingredients are your skim milk, which has vitamin A and D3 in it. Your coffee, which is just water and coffee. <clears throat> you have sugar and you have carrageenan, and, which I heard once is supposed to be like some seaweed thing that, you know, thickens things up and makes them thicker or whatever. So a sugary cold coffee beverage with milk to go. And it was free, so thank you milk to go. I'm rambling on, let's run it. Um it's got like a cold dairy smell to it. Uh, may not be 100% milk, almost might be like an ice cream smell, and there's a coffee smell, but it's not hardcore, you'd think it'd be hardcore smelling for coffee. Now just like a typical coffee shake. Yeah, that first smell, let's just say, it reminds me kind of of like a French vanilla ice cream a little, or regular vanilla ice cream. And then there's just like a little bit of a coffee smell in the background, just a little. Cheers on my first sip. Thank you, Milk to Go, for actually ending up sending them, giving me the runaround. Weird that they're supposed to be very limited out this way. And regardless if this is the exact size or not, whatever. Cheers. Thank you, and let's see what my first free sip is like. It lacks the coffee smell for the most part, but no, it doesn't lack the coffee taste. You get a cold, creamy like taste up front, and then the middle has a little bit of like a burnt bitterness, and that turns into a coffee taste, which takes you the rest of the way. 
So think of a little bit of a burnt taste after a creamy taste. And then think of the ending being coffee. So in the stomach, it kind of feels like a cold milk drink and more upfront mouth throat wise. Has a little bitterness and some coffee uh, taste. I mean, if I wrote to the company, maybe they could clarify the caffeine content, because I don't know the exact caffeine content on this. Provides one serving of milk per bottle, as of the food guide. Next one, source of calcium, vitamin D, A and D, vitamin A, vitamins added. Yeah, you just get some cold, creamy taste, and you get some, uh coffee taste around it out. Um, as far as coffee drinks go that are cold and bottled or canned, you could do worse and you could do better. It's like middle of the line in the so-called iced coffee lineups of the cold coffees that don't actually have the ice cubes in them. It's like middle of the line like you could do worse, you could do better. Like I said, you're just getting some creamy taste and some coffee taste but nothing too hardcore and usually there's like a more hardcore coffee smell and taste of wheat. So it's alright but it's not like oh my goodness great and it's not like eh so you get the point. Is it the original milk to go iced coffee courtesy of the milk to go company? And I don't know if there's other flavors, and it might be hard to get where you are, like over here. And maybe they can send you a bottle or a few or something on the video. So.